Hello, honeys, and welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time to see my face, my name is Tandy. Welcome back to the Inspirational Corner. And today in studio, I have a guest. You are familiar with this face, but today we will be interviewing him for the first time. And it's very exciting to have him here in studio. Please welcome Mr. Ronald Nicazzino. Welcome Hello, to the guys. Thank you for joining us. It's good to have you here. Ah, I'm happy too. I'm very excited to be on this platform once again. Wow, wonderful. Ronald, the last time we spoke to you, you introduced the teammate to us. So we want to know more. We want to really get to know the teammate much more. Tell us, Ronald, who is the teammate? Uh, my government name is Ronald Nikazino, and I am the teammate. Uh, I'm the teammate in the sense of assisting whosoever who is walking into the journey of leadership, trying to achieve any responsibility in your life. I'm there to assist such people, especially for those who are doing it against all odds of doing it. I'm going to them as the teammate, as, the, as an aid to them. And tell us, why are you doing what you're doing? Um, what has pushed me to be a teammate, mostly it was my, my background. Uh, I was born more like a, a mistake because um, my father and my mom separated when I was six months. And then I grew up in the family of my mother. So in the family of my mother I was being treated as the mistake of my mother and as a representative of my father. So... I, I was abused, as to say, uh, physically, emotionally, and mentally. And I lost like my self-esteem, my self-concept, and confidence. So that had opened a door for me to be bullied with some way, like with other kids. And that it also affected me even in my school. Uh, I was more like mental retard. Sure. Because uh, in the first seven years of my primer, I couldn't read or write my name. And all the kids were laughing at me. I'm all, I was more like a laughing stock. Sure. But I was asking myself, what is it that I can do in this life? And at that particular time, there was no one who could believe in me. There is nobody who was there for me. Because if I could share my, with my mother all the things that I was going through in my life, I wouldn't want to put more pressure on her. So I, so I had to keep it to myself, but it was destroying me inside. So it happens that I was introduced to a church, uh, which is forward in faith. And that's when I felt this, um, the, uh, that's where I felt somebody would come to me as my mate in order to recover myself, in order to regain my self-concept, in order to regain my confidence. That's when I realized that it's more important to have somebody who believes and cares in you. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm coming from. I just wish those uh, kids who are in the same situation like I was, and even those women and those men who yes. are going through their journeys in life where they are alone, where there is nobody who is there for me. Yes. I want them to know that I care and I'm there as their teammate. That is truly an incredible story, Ronald. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you spoke about faith. You know, you spoke about faith, how the foundation of your faith, how you were connected to somebody through your faith. Can you just share with us quickly as the teammate how important it is to have faith grounded, to have your faith grounded you need to have some kind of uh, faith to ground you in order to find your purpose. And while you're talking about that, just share with the viewers how you found your purpose in the teammate. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's more like it's uh, funny, Tani, because mm. when I get to this church, it was like we were just kids by then. And at this church, you know what they do? They were, they were cooking muffins and they would give us drink at the end of the church. So we used it both there just for the muffins and the drinks. Wow. But as we were going uh, to the church, that's when I realized, I oh, know I have to 
give my life to Jesus and I have now to participate in the church. And as I was participating, that's when I realized the importance of life purpose. I even go through that process of trying to find what is the reason I was born? What is, why am I alive? Because even before I get to the church, when I was in that moment of being a laughing stock, mm -hmm. I was asking myself, what is it that I can do mm -hmm. in this life? Mm -hmm. And then I've gone through that process of trying to realize mm -hmm. why I was born, what kind of potential do I might carry? And yes. then I was assisted in that up to where I am now. Mm -hmm. And also it was so important to me because I had in a higher belief that was above me, which was mm -hmm. above my yes. peers, which is enabling me yes. to move in those, even in those lonely yes. moments. Yes. That, that, that what I can say, especially on faith. Yes. And faith has allowed me to realize my life purpose. Incredible, Ronald. And you know, while we're speaking about purpose and the importance of having purpose, it is it is highly important if you're watching this video at home and you're still trying to find your life's purpose. Ronald shared with us how important it is to have faith, how important it is to have yourself grounded in some kind of faith. And I will tell you from personal experience, you need to be grounded in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ in order to find your life's purpose. You see, Ronald is sharing his life's story and his testimony of how he found his purpose as the teammate by grounding himself in his faith. So Ronald, tell us after finding your purpose as a teammate, what is the mission of the teammate? My, my mission, um, I'm here just to help people or to assist people to discover in the nature their inborn leadership potential for passionate serving of many kinds. Uh, that is my mission. I would do, I, I'm in this journey of assisting those who want to know their life purpose and to nurture it in order to achieve the reason why they were born in this world. That is my mission in this origin. I would want uh, my people, especially from the third world countries, uh, Africa in particular, mm -hmm. to, to be able to tap in their inborn leadership potential mm -hmm. for passionate saving of many kind. Because us as human beings, we live in interdependence. If you can discover your own purpose and I can discover my own purpose, then we can save each other yes. in our inborn leadership potential. Yes. And then that is my desire and that is my mission for you and for everyone who would want to know and nature his or her inborn leadership potential. That is my mission in this Jen, of being the teammate of my fellow countrymen. That is incredible. And you know, you know, something stood out for me when Ronald shared how in school he used to be known as the outcast. That is how people saw him in school back then. But honestly, guys, look at him now. Just look at this young man now and just listen to the way he's speaking. He's speaking for a community and a nation. This is really, truly inspiring. Ronald, I know we are asking so much of you, but please just share quickly with our viewers at home, what is your vision entirely as the teammate? My, my vision is to see my own brothers and my sisters, especially in the third world countries, to be more productive and high performing in their inborn potential. Because your inborn potential, you cannot lose it. It is in you. You can monetize it and it cannot dwindle away. But your inborn potential is your only opportunity which you can monetize in it. So my vision is to monetize those individual purpose potentials because some they are good at singing, some they are good at dancing, some they are good at even uh, doing poems, and the, some they are orators, and some they are even music producers, I would want them to monetize that inborn leadership potential. Even we can look like our counterparts in the first world nations or in the second world nations, they are good at improving and nurturing their inborn potential. And then they are great. Even if you can look the likes of Michael Jordan, yes. he has improved oh, yes. and nurtured his inborn leadership potential. Yes. And if you can look like the Lionel Messi that we have today, mm. he's good at that. 
like Hussein Bolt, they are good at that. That is my vision, to see my own third world nationalities doing the same thing. I would want them to be productive yes. in their inborn leadership potential. That is amazing, Ronald. Now, the Bible says in Habakkuk 2 verse 2, write the vision down, make it plain upon all tables so that all men may see. This right here is Ronald sharing his vision. He's writing it down. He's putting it out there. This is going to go far. Ronald, this is going to go very, very far. I tell thank you, you, thank you. <clears throat> you know, when people look at you now, especially your classmates and those who, who know you from before, they, it'll be hard for them to say you are the same person. Because you see, what happens yeah, yeah, is yeah. they didn't know that they were fighting a potential in you. When they were treating you like an outcast, they didn't know that they were fighting the vision in you. Because now imagine if you did not discover that vision in you through your faith, you would have never become the man that you are here today. You see, they were fighting the vision in you. And wow, we thank God that you found your vision because many, many people, especially young people, are going to be able to discover themselves through the teammate. Yeah, going to be just, able just to add on that, Tali, yes. you realize uh, it's like, I've gone through what I've gone through. Yes. At first, I was blaming people or yes. whosoever that has done wrong to me. Mm. But I've made peace with that past yes. because I've realized that I've gone through that same situation yes. to help those who might be going through the same situation yes. or the, those who might go yes. the same situation. So it's like, I think it's a blessing in disguise, it as actually you say. It actually is. It actually mm, is. Mm, mm. We can sit here and say, we thank God for the times that you went through. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we wouldn't have had the teammate here sitting with us, sharing his life, changing and inspiring story. So people, if you want to get to know more of the teammate, don't forget to visit him on his Facebook page, on his Instagram, on all his social platforms. And I will definitely leave them up on the screen. And also before we go and before we close this video, Please share with us, Ronald, just one or one last word of encouragement to the viewers watching here at home. I, I think I, what, what, what I can say to my brothers and my sisters or whom I consider to be my lords and my ladies, I just want you to know that you are born for a purpose and with the potential to do so. Therefore, you need to discover that potential and nurture it through passionate saving of many kind, because your potential that you has is there to add, is there to develop and advance many kind. So you need to do it with passion. I, I'm inspired by the one of the greatest uh, leadership speakers, the late Dr. Maus Manro. He once said, if you seek, if you want success, do not seek success, but seek to become a person of value. You with the potential that you have, you need only to seek to become a person of value with your inborn leadership potential. And then out of that value, you can be appreciated with, with money, you can be appreciated with any goods and everything that you can think of in life. Only what you need is to have value. And all those things that you might think of in this life, they will follow you if you have got value, if you are adding value into the people's life. But you can only add value with the potential that you have, which you are given by your creator to fulfill the purpose that he has created you for. So I just want you to say, go there, let's assist, let's engage for you to discover your inborn potential and help each other to nurture it. As I'm still nurturing mine, we can nurture our potential together as your teammate. Wow. I care for you in any situation that you might go through. Yes. I'm there. I care for you. Wow. I'm so empowered. I'm so inspired. Discovering your inborn leadership potential that your creator gave to you. What are you still doing at home? What are you still sitting there? Quickly, quickly go ahead and find the teammate on social platforms. Connect with him. We are so privileged as a Wheeler family to have someone like this come on the channel. So guys, remember, if you enjoyed this video, like it, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down in the comment section. And of course, we will definitely have him join us again. I hope this is not the last visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we will yeah, definitely yeah. have him coming on again on the channel. And we'll catch you again in the next video, guys. Thank you. Bless and bye-bye.